Albanese here with NPC News Online. I'm here at Team Universe with Ed Brown Jr. He just came off an open bodybuilding uh, overall win. How do you feel? Feel almost as uh, almost as opposite as what I did last year, a 500 pound raw bench press. Just something when you do something world class like that, you get an IFBB Pro card, you're a black belt, the master, the Jedi master. That's how I think. That's phenomenal, man. So. You're, you're really dense, man. How, what do you do to, uh, to get to this uh, density? Uh, a lot of the stuff that I use in the off-season that I've been implementing that seems to give me that grainy, hard, sick, cartoonish look I benefit is from powerlifting. It's a certain density that you can't get. Josh Bryant is my strength coach, along with uh, another mentor, Ed Cohen. They've been awesome influences on me within the past year to help my physique even come to the different level it was. If you look at me last year, I was behind John Meadows, and I think his name was Walter, and the over 35. And then I think in the Team USA, I was top three. But my muscles didn't quite have that grainy hardness that they do now. And it, it just comes from that heavier uh, lifting in half the year when I'm doing it, similar to how Johnny Jackson does, uh, who's another person I look up to, who's an IFBB professional. Uh, you know, when you, when you can deadlift 800 pounds, it's going to show on your physique. There's this whole saying that I go by, it's called muscle doesn't lie. Uh, and the judges can see right through that when you're on stage, it shows. So power building is definitely, along with, which is hybrid, a mix of powerlifting and bodybuilding. I would like to, along with being an IFBB professional, be a dual athlete and prove that it can be done. You can do both and use that to add the muscle, signal the muscle to grow. I think it'll inspire the younger kids to put in the work, not just go for a magic pill, but actually work hard. That's phenomenal, man. So now that you're an IFBB pro, what's going to be your first move? My first move will be to go back to the drawing board to add size, which means the old saying, you can get bigger without getting stronger, but you can't get stronger without getting bigger. So I'm going to go for even more higher numbers and push myself in the gym, and then I'm going to bring something uh, to the IFBB probably within a year and a half to a year uh, and try and come in with a cartoonish look and bring something that the sport doesn't have, uh, hasn't seen in a while. I like to bring something different, uh, similar to how Johnny Jackson can do it. He comes in and has that just freaky, sick looking back. I'd like to come in with the same tie-ins and the hamstrings, the glutes. I'm not going to come in as a 212. I would come in at whatever weight looks best, even if it's 220. So I think if I can come in grainy and hard, I can still hang with the big dogs. That's phenomenal, man. And lastly, anybody you want to thank? I'd like to thank Ed Cohen, Josh Bryant, and another uh, fella. I know that he's not as popular in the game right now, Lee Priest, but he was also, he helped me a lot when I first started training. He used to live in Austin. Uh, he was He's taught me a lot as far as the prep and everything. Uh, and how to do the cardio and put in the work and just old school, you know, no, nothing beats hard work. You can try and rely on all everything else, but you got to put in the work and it's going to take time. The only difference between 2005, if you look when I was a middleweight and did this show and I was in the top five and compared to now as a heavyweight was 12 years. So like I say, everything, everything is, takes time. That's phenomenal, man. Again, congrats on your big win and uh, welcome to the IFBB Professional League. Thanks, guys. I'm Lou Albanese here with NPC News Online and there you have it.